All righty. What's up, everybody? Peter Gilmore here for another video. No, it's not supposed to be, but it's supposed to be on my break. But I'll talk about it in a minute. But thank you all for watching here on Metal God 669. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button down below on this channel and all my other channels down below in the description box. And as always, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and, and Instagram. You know the deal. So follow me on social media and all that crap. I'm not going to boast about my channels or anything like that. Like certain people think think I was. On my last video about Charlie Wolfcale, I wasn't promoting my channels. But anyway, we move on from there. All right. Now, before I get to the video, I just want to say that I am taking a break. Um, my break is still on, but I'm gonna do two more vi uh, probably two more videos, two or three more videos, maybe more. I don't know. Um, yeah, probably two more videos. I'm gonna do uh, Christmas Eve tomorrow on my Peter Gilmore channel, as well as my New Year's video, which is going to be a lot, my final live stream on YouTube for the foreseeable future, um, and that'll be it, uh, so that, that, uh, that New Year's Eve video will be on, uh, my TGC Reborn channel, I'll talk about, uh, just talk about New Year's Eve, uh, my plans for 2022, uh, while I'm off YouTube, of course, I'll be doing some other things on all the places that you won't know about. Um, and just, uh, you know, try to, try to fix myself for 2022, get into a better, better, uh, frame, uh, frame of mind, if you will, mentally and physically, of course. And just, you know, just, I got other things to do, I got big plans coming up. In a couple weeks with my work schedule and everything and uh that's uh pretty much it for that um but yeah i will be taking my break as of uh january at the end well the, after my day one pay-per-view review that's the last video i'm gonna do honestly that's the last video after the new year's eve video i'm gonna do day one that's and that will be the actual final live stream. Not, no, not New Year's Eve. So I'll do New Year's Eve sometime in the afternoon next Friday before I actually go off of my New Year's Eve plans with you know who and and my parents, of course. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do my um, I'll do J one predictions as well, and then on that video uh, along with um. Just do that and just talk about New Year's. I don't think I'm going to do like a year in review or anything like that. And if I do, it's going to be separate. Separate from, well, not on YouTube, basically. I'll just do do one on, on another um, platform. But it is what it is. But we'll see about that. I don't know. I'm still debating about doing it. But anyway, in any event, minus all that, that stuff. So once again, uh... After this video, I'll have my new, uh, my Christmas video tomorrow on my Peter Gilmore channel, of course. Um, then I may do, I, no, I'm not, I was thinking of doing, you know, the, my reviews for next week and then that's it, but I'm gonna, not gonna do those. I'm just gonna, uh, take, take the rest of that, uh, next week off and then do my New Year's Eve live stream on TGC Reborn. Then, Saturday, New Year's Day, um, at night, after day one, I would do my review of day one on the Peter Gilmore channel. And then, that's it for a couple of months. At least two or three, maybe four months. I might not come back till maybe WrestleMania. I'm thinking about WrestleMania, but might be, might be in later in April, or maybe by Memorial Day next year, that's May. So at the end of May, I might come back, but... I'll see how it is. I'm going to reassess uh, my life and everything else. But that's it. But anyway, enough about that. I'm not promoting my channels or like anything like that. I'm just letting you know what's happening, and that's it. So for all you people, all you losers out there, it's like, oh, he's not taking a break. 
that's it. Anyway, let's get to the meat and potatoes here. Um, as the title below says, we have some breaking, well, some of breaking news. Um, I, I, I was, I didn't want to, I wasn't thinking about doing a video today, but I mean, I was going to do one tomorrow, but I was checking out my subscriptions, and if you hear the, a booming no, noise, it's that my neighbor playing his boombox on his fucking car. What else is new? Um, so, I didn't want to do a video today, but I was I was um, checking out my subscriptions, and I saw a video by my good buddy, Bill Apter of OneWrestling.com, of One Wrestling Video, OneWrestling.com, and there's a uh, certain person that died today, and that man, uh, as the title below says, is Corporal Kirshner. Now, for those of you who don't know who he is, he's a former... Now, I'm reading this from WrestlingInc.com. I will put the link as well. Because WWE put, up a, put out a statement about that. And um, that's that. So, for those of you who don't know who Corporal Kirshner is, who is pretty big, well, not that big, in the early 80s, around WrestleMania 2. He also was in FSW. That's fighting, not, not fighting spirit wrestling. That's, we all know, FMW. As I say FSW, I'm in FMW. Sorry about that. But, you know... Those creep, those guys, you know, my awesome, you know, and uh, Jerry Funk and Mick Foley and company. So, uh, his real name is Mike Penzel, and he was uh, he played, he portrayed the character of Corporal Kirshner, who was like a um, a U United States like veteran stuff like that. That's what's his gimmick. Then he also played Leatherface and Super Leather. That was an FMW. I mean, go watch those stuff. That stuff, the crazy stuff that he went through. Oy, oy, oy. But anyway, uh, sad to report that corporate Kirshner Mike Penzel has passed away. Oh, he passed away yesterday. Uh, we're just getting the news today uh, that he died yesterday at the age of 64, and the cause of death was a heart attack, which was the same. Uh, same for Charlie Wolfcare. That's how he passed away. We found out that uh, from. Well, certain people I found out that from. So, it was already mentioned in his, some some video. All the tribute videos for Charlie, no, we didn't have a cause of death. And then certain video, I think it was uh, some some somebody's video said that that um he died of a heart attack. So that sucks. But thank God that's over. But it is no. That, I'm talking about the boombox thing. There's noise outside my my door. But anyway. So yeah, Corporal Kirchner died at the dies at the age of sixty four due to a heart attack. Uh, he died in his sleep at his home in Siler City, North Carolina, where he uh, he was living. Um, and good thing, you know, Vince McMahon. We all know we hate him and stuff like that, but he has a heart. That God damn it, even though it's black, but you know. At least he has a heart. So, anyway, the WWE paid tribute to Corporal Kershner. We called his WrestleMania 2 flag match win over WWE Hall of Famer Nikolai Volkov. I think that was in, in um, I don't know if that was in the Nassau Coliseum or was in, at the Rosemont Horizon. Well, WrestleMania 2 was in three places, remember? Nassau Coliseum, Chicago at the Rosemont Horizon with the tag team belts where, uh, <coughs> We decided that the British, the, uh, the British Bulldogs beat the Hart Foundation in Chicago at WrestleMania 2. And then we all remember Hogan beating King Kong Bundy, Bundy, Bundy in L.A. at the, uh, I think it was the L.A. Coliseum. That was, I think that was the only match uh, in L.A. was that match, I think. Um, I could be wrong. I have to look at WrestleMania 2 again. But I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong, that... His flag match with Corporal Kirshner and Nikolai Volkov, where he won, I think was in the Nassau Coliseum. I have to check that out. But anyway, uh, WWE also noted how he competed around the world for promotions like New Japan, Stampede Wrestling, uh, Wing, that's W, uh, asterisk ING, don't know what that is, but, uh, and other promotions. So I'm going to read the statement from WWE. This is according to. Uh, okay, let me um. Okay, let me read the statement, and um, 
that's not. I'm not gonna make make it too long because I want to finish this video out. Uh, WWE says uh, we are saddened to learn that Michael Penzo, better known as Cole Percursor, and beloved by fans all over the world, passed away yesterday at the age of 64. Our sincerest thoughts are with his family, friends, and those affected by his passing. After serving as a paratrooper in the U.S. Army, Kirshner would meet Hulk, Hulk Hogan brother, while working in a gym and began paving the trail for an incredible career in sports entertainment. After de debuting as R.T. Reynolds, Penzel began competing as Copa Kirshner and engaged in a memorable rivalry with Nikolai Volkov, which culminated with a flag match victory at WrestleMania 2. Fong is one in WWE, which didn't last that long. Uh, Kirshner would travel the globe competing for Stampede, Stampede Wrestling New Japan, the UWF, uh, that wing promotion, and other promotions. Uh, Kirshner would later appear inside the square circle as Leatherface in FMW uh, and Super Leather as well. Capped off his career in 2007. So, that's that. Uh, let me see anything else. Uh, okay, they mentioned they mentioned again he was a United States paratrooper. So thank you for your service there, sir. Um, he began his journey meeting Hulk Hogan in a gym while working as a mechanic and a bouncer in Minnesota. All the good wrestlers came from Minnesota, you know, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew. You know what I'm talking about? The World Warriors and many other guys who came from Minnesota. Uh. Hogan then introduced him to AWA promoter Vern Gagne, and rest is history from there. He worked for the WWE from 85 to 87, so he was at WrestleMania 1, 2, and I think 3. I don't think he was at 3, but 85 to 87, where 85 was WrestleMania 1, 86 was not number 2, and then 87 was number 3. So uh, He placed Hall of Famer Sergeant Slaughter as a patriotic character uh, for the company. Uh, he later worked for various companies in Japan, like I said, New Japan, uh, held the FMW Brass Knuckles title, among other things. Uh, he worked as a truck driver after, after he finished pro wrestling. He hasn't wrestled since 2009. Uh, WWE profiled a Where Are They Now feature on him in 2011. Uh, Okay. Mike Penzo is survived by his wife of 25 years. He has three sons and one daughter. Oh, that that hurts, especially around now. Right around the holidays, people are dying. Good Lord. Sucks, man. It just sucks right down on holidays. Uh, also, you can um, find his obituary online if you want to find that. And I talked about his uh, WWE's... Uh, a statement and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so another wrestler has passed away. Corporal Kirshner, Mike Penzel, Leatherface, Super Super Leatherface, whatever you want to call him, Archie Reynolds. He has passed away uh, as of yesterday. He passed away at the age of sixty-four due to a heart attack, and he will be greatly missed in the. Old school wrestling community, like myself, been been watching wrestling since the AWA back in 1980. So, kind of saw Kurt Kirchner in the early days of AWA, and then when he met Hogan. From there, I don't think he was on the. I don't know if he was a part of it, but the. Uh, no, I don't think it was part of the rock and wrestling experience. So I think that came. I think it was at WrestleMania one. I think it was before he was there. Um, I don't think uh, he wasn't. I don't think he was on the. Uh, I'm pretty sure he wasn't on the uh, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling cartoon show. I don't think he was. They might have mentioned him maybe, but I don't think so. But maybe he should have been. He was with Hogan. I mean, come on, Hogan like basically brought him in. I mean, the worst you can do is like you know get it, get your foot in the door. You you fight. Nikolai Volkov, you win the flag match, and then, well, we don't see you anymore until you go to FMW, you became Leatherface, all those crazy bomb matches he had, you know, alongside Mike Awesome, by the way. Just an exploding ring time bomb matches. I don't know how he survived those matches, good lord. I don't know if anybody survived those matches. 
But in any event, let's be serious. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be missed, and he's gonna be in that big ring in the sky with Nikolai Volkov, Macho Man Randy Savage, and all the others who have passed on before him, especially from the early '80s era. You know, Rowdy Piper, Paul Orndorff, uh, Bundy, uh, Big John Stud, and all the others from the '80s who are have passed on. There's still some left. Like, uh, Greg Valentine, Bruce Beefcake, stuff like, guys like that. Lex Luger, Sting, Flair, Hogan. You know, guys like that, that, that I grew up with. That in the er, er, early 80s to, you know, the golden era of, of professional wrestling in the WWF. You know, there's still some around from WCW, the NWA. And, um, the late WWF and turned to the WWE. So... You know, you know, we never know when when our day uh, comes. Like I, I keep saying to every every video, we don't know when our day comes. Well, the only one that knows is God, the Lord. And um, when it's our time, it's our time. We don't. I mean, we the, we don't know when it's gonna be. We think it's gonna be you know later in life. But you know, he says we want you want to you know he picks us out at a certain number. That's it. But you know, his number was at sixty four. But it's just, just a sad day in the world of professional wrestling, especially old school wrestling. If you're an old school hardcore fan, like I am, you know, growing up in 1980 watching the AWA, like I mentioned before, and seeing him at WrestleMania 2, uh, I, I think the match was at Nassau Coliseum. I have to look, look at the, the, uh, the tape again with a DVD because I had the WrestleMania DVD. So, the big box set DVD I have of, like, the first 20, I think the first 10 of first 20, uh, WrestleManias. Or you could, I could just look it up on, on, on my, look it up, I don't know, I don't know. But, anyway, so my thoughts and prayers go out to the family of Mike Penzel. He leaves behind a wife for 25 years. So, it celebrated their silver anniversary, and, you know, he leaves behind a wife and, uh, Four kids, three three boys and a daughter, I think it was. So that sucks, especially on the holidays. They lose their father. Uh, Mike Penzel loses uh, Mike Penzel's wife. He loses a, a loving husband of twenty five years, and we lose another another uh, man from the eighties, another wrestler from the golden era of professional wrestling. The greatest time of them all. Not the Attitude Era. I mean, you could say, I mean, you're a millennial. You go, oh, the Attitude Era was great! But if you were a guy like me at my age, which I'm going to be 45 tomorrow, so I've been watching wrestling for, like, a long time. So, like a hardcore wrestling fan like I am, you know, it kind of hits home because I've been watching wrestling since the 80s and, the, and been through the Golden Era before it became the Golden Era. Before when Hogan got there, but that's that when the golden era of wrestling actually began. So, so like 84, 85, up to like 1990. Early 91, but by that time, the WWE was kind of falling apart. We all know, we remember that with the new generation era and the bad times from 90 to 95. Then... Then 96, 97 is when the Attitude Era started, and pff, WWE was on a boom for a while. Then the PG Era started. They had a couple good years. Not many, but and then after that, pff, down the toilet they went. You know, kind of made a resurgence in like 2015, 2016, but ever since they kind of went down. Even with the Thunderdome Era, which may be coming back pretty soon. With this goddamn virus going around. But. We'll see what happens with that. But anyway. I just want to give my thoughts and prayers. And my condolences to the Penzel family. And. To Corporal Kirshner. I say. I salute you sir. And. You know. As always. Got my. Well. It's Burger King. But it's, it's Coke. It's not Pepsi tonight. T tonight would be Pepsi. But. Doing the Niner game. Um. Uh, but my ceremonial toast to you, Corporal Kirshner, 
Thank you for your service, sir. Great wrestler, even though they weren't in WWE for that long. But, you know, if you're an FMW, FMW fan, you know who he is. And that's it. So, Corporal Kirchner, rest in peace, my friend. I salute you. Thank you for your service in the United States Army as a paratrooper. And your time in WWE and in FMW and other various promotions. So, rest in peace, Corporal Kirchner. I salute you. Cheers, my friend. All right. All right, so that's it. Thank you all for watching this video. And like I said, uh, I got a couple of videos. I got three videos left. Uh, tomorrow, my Christmas Eve video, Christmas video on the Peter Gilbert channel. It's going to be a short video. not going to be this long. Um, and then uh, New Year's Eve, I'm doing a stream. Probably won't be that long either. At most, maybe an hour. Depends Depends how uh, what time I... I'm probably going to do it like around... Probably 2, maybe 3 o'clock. Because I'm going out late um, for New Year's Eve. So I'm probably going out like at 6 o'clock. So probably doing around 2 or 3 o'clock on the TGC Reborn channel. You can subscribe to now. Um, and then... Um, then after that, my day one review on the Peter Gilmore channel. That'll be the last video I do for about... Three, three to maybe four months. So I want to take some time off to, you know, fix myself. I got some personal problems I got to deal with. Uh, not Nothing YouTube drama related. I mean, if you think that's because of the trolls, well, fuck you. And um, that's it. So I'm just going to step away because YouTube is becoming a very toxic place right now. And even with the new terms of services starting... You know, I can't do hate videos. My rant channel is basically going to be extinct. So I might close the channel down. I'm thinking about not closing it or just leaving it up. Even though it might get struck down because the videos are still there. So I don't, th I mean, I think it's just new videos that will strike down for hate speech and all that other crap with their new terms of services. But we'll see what happens with that. And um, yeah, I'm going to take some time off. To I need a break actually because I've been going full steam since 2008 January 2018 so three plus years almost four years straight without a break so so I'm gonna take a take a couple month couple month break like I said maybe coming back around WrestleMania maybe after WrestleMania maybe by Memorial Day I don't know we'll see how what happens with that um but I'll still be on social media and um. Just chilling on social media. Um, I'll be around on YouTube, not doing videos. I'll be in certain comments and uh, certain streams if I feel like it in the chat. But that may or may not happen. I'm not sure yet. But it's going to be a full break from video-wise. For about three, four, maybe five, at most five months. Not six months like in 2017, but... We'll see what happens. I'm thinking about... I'm kind of targeting WrestleMania, but... Like I said, we'll have to see what happens between... With YouTube going into 2022 with their new terms of services and shit like that. So we'll see what happens with that. So, three more videos to go. And then... We're done for now. And that's pretty much it. So, the break will start as of January the first... Uh, after the... Day one pay per view, pay per view review. So really, like late January first, late next next Saturday. Uh, but if you want to be specific, January second will be the official start of the break, and then that's it. And, and it's gonna be that's the real date. I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm gonna go back on. I'm gonna be, oh, I'm gonna take like a week off, and I'm gonna come back next week. I'm like, no, that's not gonna happen. Not on YouTube, no. But I am going to take a break, and um, that's all I got to say about that. So deal with it. I know I don't want to leave, but I have to because I have to fix myself. And with my new work schedule starting in mid-January, I'm not going to have much time to even even devote to YouTube or mainly uh, almost social media at all. But we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to finish this video. I'm going to edit it up, and then that'll be it. And then get ready for football tonight. The Niners tonight against the Tennessee Titans. Going to get ready for that. And then we're counting down the hours, the seconds, the minutes to the greatest day in the world, ladies and gentlemen. 
We're about almost seven hours away. So, so yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm getting old. Er, but we'll see what happens with that. And um, that's it. So that's all I gotta say about that. So you can see it. Yeah, I gotta trim my nose hair. I know, I know. It's so so bent up about my nose hair and then my looks. You're jealous because you look like shit. But I digress. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I know this is long. I apologize for that. But I had a lot to say and a lot of there are some memories about Kurt Kirshner and all that shit. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Peter Gomez signing off for this video. I got like I said three videos left. So. That's all I gotta say about that. So if I don't hear see you um guys tomorrow, if you don't see me after tomorrow, Merry Christmas. Have a happy and healthy Christmas. Hope you get what you want. And for you all the people, well, you know what you're gonna get. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Peter Gomez signing off for this late Thursday afternoon. And I'll see you guys next time. And to Corporal Kirshner, and from him, from me to him, to you. I say this, I salute you, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time. Peace!